Guys, we made it. 10,000 subscribers. We made it, guys. Thank you so much. Well, it, it's it's a hundred. It's a hundred. Well, a hundred is really good too, right? So thank you so much for 100 subscribers for just a couple of videos and the opportunity to, um, yeah, to see me um, do some solar battery stuff here. Now guys, I'm really excited now because I know you are interested in what I'm doing here in the off-grid garage. And I just want to show you some highlights just to celebrate 100 subscribers, right? Look at all this here. Batteries, batteries, batteries. And guess what? Batteries. More batteries there. Yeah, so this all in total is around 16 kilowatt hours of energy storage alone. Unfortunately, uh, I sold um, yeah, I sold half of these batteries already. Um, and this is what I said. I just wanted to talk about about this battery stuff. Should I should I start with only two packs of batteries and build my battery? This would be a 24 volt battery with about seven and a half, eight kilowatt hours. Or should I order two more boxes to get back to the original 15, 16 kilowatt hours all in total? Leave your comments down below. What would you do? Would you order more or would you start with a small system just to see how it goes? You know, just to prove the concept and see if we do everything right. And then later on, we could easily expand this system with another eight batteries to 16 then, you know. Also, I need to show you something here. This was one of the batteries um, in the last delivery and have a look at this. This is like under the heat shrink. It looked like stain, whatever. It looks like it's it's it got wet or something, but there was nothing, nothing damaged on the box itself or so. So this was all good. And I don't know what it is, but um, the battery cell behaves normally. So it's really just the outside, which is not really nice. So I let the manufacturer know that I'm not happy with this quality here. And um, I've, I've, got, I've got another one. I've got another one which I claimed. There's a dent at the corner. And here is another dent. And this one especially, it looks like it's like a puncture, like really a point, like a round. I don't know what that is. Huh? It's not very deep. But, you know, it's a dent. And I've got two more batteries, not the one I'm selling. Uh, I've got two more batteries which have a very, very tiny little corner dent here. So I told them I was not happy with this delivery this time. And they have asked me now, what would I like to be my compensation for that? So I haven't responded yet. I just want to talk to you and see what you think what we could do. So if I tell them, okay. I, I told them I cannot sell these two batteries anymore because this one looks like shit and the other one has dents. Nobody will buy this anymore. Obviously, from a from a from a uh, electrical perspective, they are still totally fine. There should be no problem. Full capacity. Yeah, I, I don't see any problems with that. But we've got we've got two battery cells in credit now with these guys. So, what I thought is if I order another eight, so two boxes. Two boxes for four cells each if i order another another two boxes and tell them look because of this stuck up there with these cells i order eight but i only pay for five yeah they have to place two of them anyway you know and for all this trouble with these cells now and all the work and i thought well they can they could compensate me with another one so i'm paying only for five but i'm getting eight because the thought behind it is, if I start with this system here, I'm getting around seven and a half, say, let's say seven and a half kilowatt hours of storage. The car uses around six to seven kilowatt hours a day for my commute. So I would fully deplete this battery bank each night just to charge the car. And this is one of the overall goals. I just wanted wanted to run the whole the whole show here the route the whole garage on these batteries of course so irrigation pump all my workbench equipment here uh, my computer stuff this all will be running from these batteries but i would also like to charge the car so i thought well seven kilowatt hours is a bit 
that's just not enough, right? And and then I got this comment from um, there. There it says it there. Off Grid Garage, 100 subscribers. Guys, thank you so much. 100 subscribers. Here, here, here. This guy, this guy, Barry Finger. He said, yes, I built a 16S 48 volt uh, LFP battery module and utilized the day daily smart BMS with Bluetooth module uh, assembled running, but I will say an instruction as bare the BMS. So 16 batteries in series, 48 volt battery bank with 120 ampere hours and they have 280 but it's a 16s which means 48 volt and 48 volt means we can run a higher inverter a more powerful inverter and charge the car potentially with five kilowatts so 32 amps should be no problem at all so well the question now is do i start with a 24 volt system to get this whole thing up and running first and then we see how we go i mean i still can charge the car during the day if i'm at home because then we've got the additional solar power as well, plus the battery storage. But I'm not at home every day, so I need to charge the car overnight. And I need, I need, I need these seven kilowatt hours then to charge the car, you know. Well, and if the battery has only seven kilowatt hours, well, you, you know, seven minus seven, there is nothing left for anything else then. Well, and then I thought, well, this is my first battery system I'm building. Start with a small one and learn how everything works. And then you can build a bigger one and a bigger one and a bigger one later on. But I'm so tempted, I'm so jealous to this Barry Finger now, which has a 16S battery LFP battery bank already. I want one too. So I'm really tempted to take this opportunity and ask them for sending eight batteries for the price of five. Yeah, and there's, there's the irrigation pump, which uses around one kilowatt hour a day, but mostly during the day when the sun shines. So I don't think this will run from the battery. This will run directly from the solar. And well, if it's cloudy outside, we usually don't use the irrigation to uh, water the garden or something. This runs only if it's hot, so if it's sunny, warm, hot outside. And then I use a little bit of energy here uh, on my workbench, but most of the test equipment is running from this solar, from this little solar system now here as well. So it doesn't really use much power. And I don't use the computer often here. This is only when I do computer repairs. I use the workbench and computer stuff. Yeah, it's really hard to tell, but I'm really tempted to ask them for the 8 to 5 deal. Anyway, guys, this is all I have for today. Uh, I just want to give you a quick update what's happening here with the batteries and solar system. I actually picked up more solar panels last Saturday. Uh, the video is coming very soon. Full solar system, panels, inverter, rail system, everything free. Free of charge. I just picked it up in Brisbane. Everything in the test lander. Put it over here. So we've got heaps of solar panels now. And I've got heaps of roof space. All right, guys, thank you so much again for 100 subscribers here on the Off Grid Garage channel. I really appreciate all your comments, uh, Barry Finger and uh, Joseph Brown and, and everyone who commented on my videos and start discussions. And thank you so much, guys. I, it's, it's great. It's great. I'm looking forward to making more videos for you and um, yeah, get this all started. Uh, okay, guys. Catch you in the next video. Bye. I'm really super excited about all this stuff. It's so amazing. We've got all these solar panels here and the batteries as well. That's just great.